Okay, so I'm welcome to today's workshop on boosting your energy for the holidays. And it's such an interesting time that this came up because I had scheduled this call for yesterday, Saturday, the 14th of December. And anyway, I was not feeling well. My voice, I could hardly speak. And that started a few days previous to that. And I was kind of pushing myself, hoping I would get better. But um, I didn't. So again, like, I think whatever you're meant to be teaching, you are given the lessons that um, you have to live. So my first lesson on this whole idea of boosting energy this time of year, because where we are right now in terms of the season is autumn, um, coming up to the winter solstice, which is next weekend. I think it's, well, it's 21st, 22nd of December. Um, so at that time, the energy is going to turn inward. Um, so in your body, there's a huge change, like physically. Um, so at this time, it's usually the time where we see it all the time now, where people are getting like vomiting bugs and colds and flus and all these things. And it's like the body is actually like clearing out stuff before it goes into the next season. And what we don't realize, I think, because of the way culture and society is set up, that we think that we have to be continuously doing and in like out mode all the time but we're not appreciating that like the season is shifting and changing and our body actually flows with that energy so i'm going to share with you in this workshop just three top tips on boosting your energy this holiday and i hope that you'll take even just one thing and actually practice this over the holiday season um, and actually just kind of give yourself permission to um do the things that your body is asking you to do this time of year. Um, and it sounds really simple, but actually in practice, it's really hard. Like I was thinking as I was preparing this workshop, a lot of this stuff I'm saying feels to me like just common sense, like why aren't we just doing this naturally? But we're not because society is set up to be always in out mode and we only really value the two seasons of always being in perpetual spring and summer. And that's not possible to be always in spring and summer. And so when we are trying to be in like spring or summer energy in autumn, like everything starts to suffer because we don't actually go with the natural flow of where we are in the season. We don't take the cue to create time to be still, um, have that time for being able to turn in inwards and actually hear what you actually want to say to yourself. Um, and this is a time where, you know, a lot of like emotional stuff will come up around Christmas. And I think it's like, it's not about like trying to avoid that, but actually about actually consciously and intentionally carving out space to find out what you want to say to yourself. Um, so the very first tip today is on honoring your body and what's showing up in your energy. And again, that sounds so, so simple. But we have so much wrapped up in that in terms of our own programming, in terms of needing to be worthy, needing to prove our worth by what we do. Um, and that's so hard because um, when our self-worth is wrapped up into that, we then don't respond to what our body is asking us in that day or in that moment. Um, and then oftentimes we are just overriding ourselves and that's just like literally a habit that we just keep playing out the same story so I would invite you for a very simple exercise with this is just write in your journal or even like I have lots of you know post-it notes around the place as well just kind of reminders of things that I want to live and embody um so a very very simple question is just writing yourself writing my well-being and energy is my number one priority and run my decisions through this question so it's like in this situation you know if my well-being and energy is the number one priority like what would look different what would I do differently if my well-being and energy is the number one priority and it's just kind of like just stepping back and actually just kind of going hmm what would be possible what could I do differently in this situation and I think that's so simple because I think if we try and make our self-care another complicated thing it just feels like overwhelming. Whereas what we want to be doing is just integrating it into our day and just basically adjusting ourselves according to what's showing up in the situation. 
my well-being, my energy is my number one priority. Do I need to answer the phone to this person right now? Can I text them back later when I'm feeling like I have the time or I have the energy? You know, like just being able to run that question through your mind is like, it's giving you a new lens to look out. Um, and again, that's not going to be an overnight process. And we're obviously all at different stages and we're all in different seasons in our lives. But it's like, when you just ask yourself that question, it helps you to kind of look at the possibilities of what you can do within the situation. And yeah, it's just a daily practice to kind of keep coming back to. And again, the holidays are a huge thing where we feel like we have to throw out like what we actually want to do and kind of morph ourselves into what other people's expectations are um, and to not actually express like what we actually need. So today I want to give you permission to do things differently this year to break old patterns that no longer serve you. So take that in full permission. And the second point is on asking yourself, does this energize me or deplete me? And again, this is another lens to kind of work through um, and to kind of place into your new perspective for yourself. Um, so it's really just saying no to the things that deplete you, to the foods that deplete you. This time of year, you're going around people's houses, you know, you're in party situations. And it's like there's this expectation that you have to eat like a certain way. Um, and for me, the past like couple of years, I've been breaking away from that. And it is uncomfortable and it really has to, I'll bring you to, to the third point, which is really what helps to shift this whole thing. Um, but actually, you're, you're not serving anyone if you're just like saying, oh, yes, to this when actually you want to say no. Um, and actually, in order for us to kind of break patterns with kind of foods that no longer serve us, we have to be the leaders within our own situations, within our own communities. Um, and it's just kind of taking that leap into that and like being OK with being uncomfortable with people kind of going, Oh, you've been a bit, you know, whatever. You're being a bit odd or you're, you're one of them now into all the different health foods. But actually, um, it actually takes just you breaking out of that old way um, and to just lead a new way. And then actually you give people permission in their own time if they want to start making adjustments to the way that they're eating, if they want to at all. But really it's about you being able to step into your own leadership of your own self um, and be comfortable with that. Saying no to things like alcohol, this is something that, you know, I personally don't have any tolerance for alcohol. Um, I don't think I ever did, but I used to kind of go along with it. Um, and then I'd go off it for periods of time. And then I just made the decision that it just does not suit me. So I'd rather not have alcohol. Um, and again, this is like me saying no in a social situation, which is so easy to just be like, oh yeah, of course I'll have a glass of wine. Of course I'll have a gin and tonic. Um, but like now it's just like, no, because that doesn't serve me. Um, also say no to situations and dramas like sometimes you feel like you get sucked into things but you can also take a step back and just not get involved because life is too short to be giving out your energy to just dramas um and then saying yes to what energizes you so what are the things that you want to fuel your body with so for me today i have my celery juice i have i have all my drinks here my lemon water i also have um elderberry Elderber elderflower tea that I made because that's very good for healing because it kind of went into my chest a bit so um just healing like drinks basically um so saying yes to things like lemon water celery juice cucumber juice um smoothies energy balls whole food meals um increasing the amounts of fruit and vegetables that you're intake intaking into your um body and into the meals um and really having like it's really about like setting yourself up in the day like in the morning time for what you want to actually be consuming because i think if you go into situations where there's like loads of like you know junk foods around and you are hungry you are going to absolutely eat them so it's really about like preparing yourself um and having like the start of the day kind of how you go want to go on basically and then i think if you kind of eat that way starting off the day even if you like have a desire to kind of eat whatever, like cakes or whatever, whatever is there, you're less likely to like overeat that and to kind of go overboard because you're kind of, you're, you're giving yourself that message of, while well, you're fueling yourself with the nutrients that you need and also that you're going to the effort of doing that, 
it's kind of like a thought in the back of your head, like, why would I want to derail this? Or, you know, um, you're not going to go overboard in the way that like, you know, people tend to do at Christmas time, this time of year. So really, when you want to be looking at your energy, you want to be looking at your blood sugars and a huge part of having blood sugar balance is hydration. So what we really want to be having is more living foods, which have high water content. So really more fruits and vegetables, you know, that have high water content, you know, things like celery juice, obviously there's a lot of water in them. Um, melons, pineapples, apples, you know, all the fruits that have like so much fluid in them. Oranges, fresh oranges this time of year are just divine. And I've just been drinking so much fresh orange juice the past few days to just get all the vitamin C into my body. And also um, they just really regenerate your organs and your glands and your energy. And because this time of year is an emotional time, especially if you've, you know, lost a loved one. For me, you know, this is my second Christmas without my mom. And it's really a time to, you know, revisit like old memories and all these kind of things. So you just have to be very mindful of like how you're actually supporting yourself. And if you're kind of like leaning towards like having alcohol and then having loads of like junk foods, it's just going to make like the emotional stuff like way, way harder to deal with. So that's really like what motivates me to kind of stay on top of it, all of this practice, because I know that I don't want to go slumping into like feeling, you know, regret and, you know, depression and all those things that is like so easy to do if you're not taking care of yourself. Um, which is why I think self-care is just like essential for, you know, your mental health. And this time of year, we tend, we tend to go more into like, you know, a mental, emotional turmoil because it's going into the winter season which is when we're facing our shadow self and I think when you're conscious of that you're not like you know if you do have a bit of anxiety or a bit of depression when you wake up or in the day you can kind of go okay this is stuff for me to look at for me to kind of for me to actually receive the message from it's not it's not something to run away from or trying to suppress it's actually something to um, really you know okay what is the message here like what am I trying to communicate to myself I'm feeling this way. What is the message here? This this winter time is the is the perfect time for us to examine ourselves because it is when we actually draw inward. And it's the same in a woman's body when we have our period, especially the first two days, especially the first one first one day of our period, we, we completely draw inward. And that's the time when we're energetically primed to actually hear like our underworld, our inner world our feminine soul wants to speak to us and communicate to us. Perhaps it wants to say to you, go this way, do this thing. But what we do then is we override that and we're trying to be outside ourselves and in the outer world, which is fantastic when we're in that season. But when we're in the season of winter, that's when we really want to consciously embrace that rhythm. And it's not anything that you have to do, anything complicated. It's just you basically making that intention to <clears throat> attune, sorry, my throat is getting a bit dry, <laughs> is making that decision to consciously attune to your own natural rhythm. I think the more you do that and the more you simplify that and you step away from the outside noise and you really start to come home to your own self, I think that becomes so, so much more natural. It's just an organic process. It's not anything that you have to force. Okay, so... Let's move over to our third point, which is I could do a whole, a whole workshop on this all together, but these are just kind of like little, little tasters for you for this holiday season. I just had this idea to share this. And so my third point is on boundaries and, you know, Brené Brown has made that famous and, you know, we can watch probably, I don't know, thousands of videos on YouTube about boundaries. But this is something that really came up for me recently. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and really, because it's been like the process of me writing the book. Hey, Denise, thanks for joining. Um, we're adding you now through to the draw because you have shown up live. So thank you so much. So we're on our third point here, Denise. So I have kind of halfway through the content. So I will be sending out the replay within like the next two hours. So that replay will be going to your inbox. So please do listen back to the start because I think it's very, uh, you know, golden information that will really support you this time of year. 
So the third point today, which is all about boosting your energy for the holidays is on boundaries. Um, and obviously we're talking about the holiday season, but this is obviously an ongoing lifelong practice, but this comes up like tenfold amplified this time of year where it's like all the, the testings and all the different challenges can come up. So this is a really important shift that I was saying that came up for me recently. Um, and this has been the process of writing my book, Moving From Fear to Trust. And the whole process of that has just been like, oh my gosh, just, I've never imagined that it would be as, um, as much as it is. Like it's been brilliant, but also it like makes you face every part of yourself. There's no hiding when you're writing like a memoir. Um, and this shift has been from like expecting the outside to approve of you, validate you, tell you what you're doing is right, telling you the path that you're on is the right thing to do. Um, and it's actually, so instead of living from the outside in, you're actually now living from the inside out and you're sourcing your approval from yourself. And that's, that's the shift. I'm sourcing my approval from myself. And this is a great mantra to bring into the holidays when you are challenged. You can even say it in your head silently when you're in a situation, you go to the bathroom if you needed to take a break. Um, or even like if you're going into like a home of like family members, um, you can even repeat this, you know, you can even tap on it if you do tapping, you know, you can do the tapping points. I, I source my approval from myself and just kind of really bring it into your body. Um, and just like, because this is a whole new way of, of actually living. Um, and so sourcing your approval from yourself, again, that's like the kind of underpinning belief system that you need to have in order to be able to say no to the things that deplete you, in order to be able to say yes to the things that energize you. And all the things kind of come from that as the foundation. I'm sourcing my approval from myself. I am a leader in my own life. I am co-creating with the universe. And that actually requires you to source your approval from yourself. And in order to kind of do that, you have to test it out in the field. You have to be in relationships with people. You have to be in your life situations. You have to be in those situations that pull you out, that yank at your core, that pull out your, you know, your, your center so that you can learn how to come home to yourself quicker and quicker and quicker each time it happens. So you have to create an intentional practice to actually live from your center, connected to your true self, like who you are here, to be in this life before all the programs and all the different things were put upon you it's like now is the time to just let all of that go and let that all just release from your system from your being and your connection is first and foremost every single day to your true self and to source that's the primary relationship that you have and then everything else from that comes and helps you to embody that and helps you to enjoy the relationships and challenges that come with that and the life situations that are set up exactly for your growth. Um, and when you can see that life is always happening for you because you are actually the co-creator, that's when you actually really start to boost your energy and really kind of come from a place of, yeah, like you're accessing, like they say in metaphysics that everyone has a blueprint that's actually in the spine which is why things like breath practices, yoga, all of these things are becoming so, so popular for a very valid reason. And that's because all of the imprint, all of the blueprint that is yours to live is inside of your body, is inside your spine. It's literally encoded into your body. And so that's why the kind of whole practice is coming home to yourself so that you can kind of hear those subtle messages. You can hear your intuition. You can follow your natural rhythm when you're, when you're living from that place of, I source my approval from myself. And then that kind of ties into the whole philosophy that I'm living as I'm, as I'm writing this book and as I'm teaching through my work, which is moving from fear to trust so that you move out of the outside, always like triggering you and res you know, responding through fight or flight to the outside world and actually anchoring into your present moment with your body and living from a relaxed place because you are the center of your reality and this has been you know i've been writing the book now for like a year and this has taken me this long to actually get to this place of like oh okay this is actually what the core of it is 
Um, so I'm really excited to kind of, kind of mine, keep mining the gold. Um, and like all of us, like Denise, Michelle, everyone who's listening on the replay, you all have that within you. Like nobody is more special than anyone else. It's just that sometimes we, um, yeah, we would just have different situations that sometimes wake us up to the fact that we have this within us um, and we have this blueprint and we are here for a reason. Um, and we are, yeah, we are here to really bring through exactly what we're here to bring through. But I think you can't do that if your energy is being hemorrhaged out all over the place, if you are not aligning with who you are and honoring your body. Because again, if that blueprint is in your body, if your body isn't being taken care of and you're not actually able to hear what your body is saying to you, like at this holiday time, which is the stillness of winter, then we're not going to be able to hear those messages to come into the next season, which is going to be, you know, the depths of winter going fully into it and then coming out into spring as we're coming into the spring equinox. And so then we can fully emerge as like what we actually want to bring through into the next season. Um, so I think that this whole new perspective is very, very powerful and very, very simple and just gives you massive permission to source your approval from yourself move from fear to trust and yeah just to actually feel good in your body and to honor yourself um and like you know yesterday i went to the health food store and i was getting my elderberry elderberry tea and elderberries to make elderberry syrup and then i got carrageen moss and i made carrageen moss drink and i made loads of homemade soups with loads and loads and loads of garlic and ginger and just like loads of everything medicinal going in and I spent the day by the fire and I watched movies on Netflix and, you know, and I was just like, you know, I'm just honoring myself right now as I feel under the weather, as I feel like this. And I'm just really loving myself back and I'm taking the time to do this properly. And it made so much of a difference when I'm still recovering, like I'm not 100% better, but I'm like, literally, I feel so good today now compared to like the, the, yesterday and the last day. Um, but yeah, so like that was a huge difference before, you know, when I was doing all this healing work, I was like angry at myself that I was not perfect and that I should be this person. And I had to deal with all of that, you know, and that's been a decade of a journey of from that back in 2010, when I started my healing journey and to now, which is like almost 2020. And I'm like, you have come a long way in 10 years. And, um, you know, and sometimes you feel like your progress is so slow, but again, it's like, it's these small, subtle shifts. So I'm going to just recap. So for everyone, thanks James for joining. Um, I've kind of gotten through most of the content. So James and Denise, I will be sending out a replay to everybody, um, within the next few hours. So that will be into your inbox. So you can listen back to the whole session from the start. Um, but I'm just going to recap now the three points for you to practice this holiday season to boost your energy. Number one is to honor your body and to adapt your schedule to what's showing up in your body and in your energy. And to do this without the guilt of having to be on all the time. The third, the second point, sorry, the third point, I'm jumping ahead. The second point is ask yourself, does this energize me or deplete me? And then you say yes to the things that energize you and you say no to the things that deplete you. Um, and that's hard because we always are looking for outside validation and we want to get people's approval. So it ties into the third point, which is on boundaries. In order to establish boundaries in your life, you have to have this mantra as an ongoing practice, which is I source my approval from myself. So even if I arrive with my own foods and I have my celery juice, and I have my non-alcoholic cocktail, whatever that looks like. Because I'm sourcing my approval for myself, I'm not uncomfortable for people to go, oh, she's odd, or she's different, or she's whatever, 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 I don't really care. But you know, because it's like, I'm sourcing my approval for myself, so I actually can do that. Whereas if I was to not, I would be like, oh no, it's fine, I'll eat that thing, whatever. You know, so again, it's like living from the inside out. And then to know that in order for you to live this, you have to be tested. Life is designed to test us. And we have our initiations all the time. 
continuously and they never go away because they're just part of the life experience and I think instead of going oh would they just go away would life not just get easy it's like embrace them because they're here to grow you and here to evolve you and relationships and life situations will tempt will will tempt you I was gonna say will tempt you to eat all the biscuits <laughs> will pull you out of your center and the practice then is to be able to come back in connecting back into your true self connecting to source and living your blueprint what you came here to live fully and um, and so that's all part of being able to boost your energy so we are at the very end of the workshop now which was um yeah thank you so much guys for being here with me because um i think this is my second live workshop i did one on moving from fair to trust imagine back in 2007 and i was absolutely terrified i didn't know what i was, what I was doing I don't even know what I was saying. I don't even think I had an outline. Whereas today I have all my notes. I had all my outline. Um, and I know I'm like glancing at them, but I was like, do you know what? It's not about being perfect. It's just, it's just being yourself, isn't it? That's the main thing. Um, so James. So we have James and Denise and Michelle. So guys, you're all entered into the draw to win a 70 euro voucher, which is one of my favorite companies, Hermes. I absolutely love them. The couple, um, Tina and Kevin, are living up in the Burren and they grow all their own herbs organically and they make their own soaps. And my favorite products of theirs are the, their soaps are just unreal because they, they do this process where they're kind of like six weeks or, I don't know, they cold press them anyway, so like it preserves all the nutrients and the oils. But anyway, basically the soaps last for ages. So. With 70 euros, you get, um, you're going to get like a nice amount of stuff. Um, and they do really great shaving soap as well. I highly recommend that, especially men and women. It's a fantastic gift. Absolutely love them. Okay, so um, I'm going to call out the lucky winner now. So this is my hat, my hand. <laughs> I don't have a hat. And Sophia is silently sleeping here. Um, and she's four days to go for her puppies are going to be born. So I'm very excited for that. So, okay, I am going to call out the lucky winner. Oh, I'm excited for you guys. Okay, no, I'm gonna do it like this. So I can't, I'm not interfering with the process. This is divinely orchestrated. Okay, one, two, three, let's pick the winner. Okay, who is the winner? Ah, oh, Michelle, you are the winner. Michelle Gill is the winner. And she was the first on the call, so um, first, first showed up. You have won the 70 euro voucher for Airmed. I will send you on the email just to give you the code for the voucher so you can place your order straight away and get your Christmas present in the post to you. So congratulations. And I have a also special offer to uh, share with you um, and everyone who's on the replay today. I have a special offer for those who are interested in going on this journey with me and to have me as your coach in 2020, um, you can join my Energy is Your Currency membership, which is my monthly membership, where we practice these themes like, you know, different self-care, different recipes, all around centering to boost your energy, um, and also centered around the philosophy of moving from fear to trust in your own life. Um, so we have a, a group a monthly coaching call so just basically to kind of keep you accountable and also to keep you on track and it's in a community of amazing amazing women um at the moment it's all women um and we are all practicing this in our own lives and just sharing and supporting each other as we go because it is difficult when we are doing this alone so the offer is if you join by this Tuesday, the 17th of December, you will get a bonus one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me in January, 2020, to start off this new decade with all the support and tools and new ideas to really bring through your full potential for this new decade. So if you're interested, you can click the link, which is gonna be in the email, because it's gonna be um, sent out to you on the replay. So if you're interested, I would love to have you join. So guys, thank you so much. Um, oh yeah, so what was it? Yeah, so that's Monday, the, no, I'm mixing up the dates. So that's Tuesday, the 17th of December. Um, you have to sign up 
um, and I only have 10 spots available. So if you're interested, I would love to have you join us. So thank you so much, guys, for showing up here today. And if you have any questions at all, you can let me know. Um, if you want to even say anything in the chat box, I would welcome it because um, this is my first kind of session like this in terms of just being able to do this live um, in a workshop format. So I'm really excited and I hope you've enjoyed. So if you have any questions, do let me know. Send them to me on an email if you can't think of anything already. Um, and if you would like to share with me your main message that you're going to take away from today's session, um, what I've shared so far. I know Denise and James, you haven't heard the whole session, so I will send you out the replay so you can get all the points um, and just take them in. And you can listen back to it um, just to kind of really, you know, take these messages into your body and allow them to kind of bring through what wants to come through in you, like as it activates you when you actually just hear this new information. And it's like sometimes it might not necessarily just be like, oh, I've heard this for the first time. You could have heard this like 10 times already. But then something small, you know, whatever, like a, a subtle shift will happen where you go, oh my gosh, yeah, that, that makes sense. I, it kind of lands in. So yeah, I just def definitely recommend to listen back um, because this is something that, you know, you really want to start to live it and to embody it for it to really make a difference and to start to change your belief system, your behaviors, and you know, and to create that positive momentum in your life. So you're going up the spiral, up the positive spiral, up that lovely, like expansive energy, as opposed to going down, 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 which is can happen this time of year when you, you know, abandon yourself and don't take care of yourself, which is just so easy to do because it's kind of almost culturally acceptable, especially here in Ireland. I'm not sure about Denise what's well, your culture like at Christmas um but um yeah I'm sure we all have similar flavors to the same kind of thing so guys thank you so much for taking the time on this Sunday and being here with me you've given me great um inspiration for just keep keep showing up and uh yeah thanks Denise I'm so much interested about self-care and eating feeding myself I can properly and you are so good at it love you Thank you so much, Denise. Um, and like that, if you are interested, um, I do have the special offer of joining my membership for um, January, uh, starting in January with a coaching call, which is really just kind of centered around like what you're eating and just creating like new, new habits and new recipes and new, new ways of being. And again, like just not just about doing that on the surface, also going deeper into, you know, who you are and just like, just being able to kind of bring that through as an embedded practice so it's like it's a new belief system really um, as opposed to just a fad because it's not about just doing a fad it's really about creating a lifestyle and that's something that I've been cultivating for the past decade so if you are interested Denise I'd love to see you join us in the membership um, and I'll send you all details to your email now and I would love to see you there so guys thank you so much I will let you go here and enjoy the rest of your Sunday and enjoy your holiday season i hope that you have a fantastic winter holiday and michelle i'm sending you over your voucher now and james thank you so much and i hope you catch the replay so you get it all and yeah if you have any feedback or anything like that let me know this is um all a learning curve for me so um yeah i'm excited and i'm very energized from this so thank you so much guys and i'm gonna return back to my nursing now and do all my different a healing protocol today um, and just adjusting my schedule for the next few days till I'm 100%. Okay, so talk to you soon. Lots of love. Thank you so much, guys, and see you soon. Bye.